What's up folks, Dan here. We're going to go over a new workout program today. This is an upper body workout program. We're going to be utilizing our new Paralette Bars. If you missed the video, a video went up on Tuesday for how to make these yourself. Pretty simple, straightforward, very cheap, under 20 bucks, great piece of workout equipment. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it today. We're going to break down into a couple of levels based on difficulty from beginner to advanced. So that, you know, no matter what level of fitness you're at, you can start wherever it is you feel comfortable. Um, now, one thing to note is that Paralette bars are great for working upper body and your core. They're not so great. They don't really provide any advantage for leg workouts. So you still should factor in some sort of leg exercise to go with these, either some sort of body weight regimen, like, you know, start with body weight squats and move on to pistol squats, or you can do weighted stuff too if you want to do like weighted back squats if you have access to, you know, a barbell or goblet squats and, you know, dumbbell lunges if all you got is dumbbells, whatever you want to do. But this is a great tool for upper body fitness. you will be able to build your triceps. We're going to build our pecs, um, core muscles. Um, you got your shoulders, all kinds of stuff. So we're basically going to hit everything in the upper body except for we're not going to hit the back so much. The back will get a little work. Um, but we're not going to hit the biceps so much. So I would recommend pairing this up with also in addition to leg exercises. You might want to throw in some chin-ups or pull-ups or, you know, rows, something to work that back and the biceps and the pull muscles, all right? So anyway, let's jump right into level one. So for level one, what we want to focus on is just getting comfortable with the parallettes as they are and building the core strength that we need to move on to the higher level exercises. So we're going to start off, we're just going to do some basic push-ups. Now, if you're at a very starting level, you can start with on your knees, all right? So starting from your knees would be like so, start here like this. If you're not comfortable on a concrete floor, you can put down, you know, some sort of blanket or pad on the floor if you want to do it on carpeting, whatever. But you're just going to go down and up. Now something I want to note is that for all the exercises that I'm doing, you want to make sure when you're doing this that your elbows are not going out to the side, okay? You want to make sure your elbows are staying close to your body. You want to make sure that your wrists are staying in alignment. You don't want to have your wrists go outside like this or go inside like that. Okay, you want your wrists in alignment, you want the meat of your palm right over the handle of the parallettes, and you want your thumbs and your fingers firmly wrapped around. Okay? So again, what you want to do is if you're starting from kneeling, you want a nice flat rigid body, and I will turn sideways so you can see. Alright, but you want to go down, and you want to try and get your chest to where it's just below the level of the parallettes. You don't want to dip your body low like this and let your belly scrape on the ground, but you want to stay upright and get your chest to where it's just below the level of parallettes and make sure your elbows are in line with your body and then push back up again. From the side, it looks like this and here's where you can see what I was talking about with the core, all right? See how I keep my body rigid and my butt is tucked in? All right, as I go down, I wanna make sure I keep that line straight, all right? I'm not letting my stomach sag, I'm not letting my butt come up, all right? I'm just here like this and back up again, all right? So that's your kneeling push-ups, that's what you're going to start with, okay? So first, with that, do kneeling push-ups. If you're at the beginner level, I would say three sets of five to ten kneeling push-ups, okay? Whatever you're comfortable with. And what I would advise is, do this in a circuit. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a set of your push-ups, okay? Then you move on to the next exercise and do a set of that exercise and the next exercise after that and so on and so forth until you get to the end. So rather than doing three sets of push-ups right off the bat, you're going to do one set of push-ups, then your exercise, then another exercise, and then you'll loop back to the push-ups again after a break. All right, we'll discuss that format a little more in the end. But for now, kneeling push-ups, first exercise in the set, three sets, five to ten push-ups, okay? Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get comfortable with the idea of propping yourself up on the parallettes, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come out to a push-up position like this, and you don't have to hold it for long, but all I want you to do is I want you to pick your feet up and put them in the center like this, and then put them back out again. If you wanna do it one leg at a time like that, you can, all right? Just like this, and then back out again. If you wanna work on bracing, you wanna work on engaging your core muscles, and coming in, and back out again. Just like that, okay? If you wanna do two leg, you can, all right? and back out, or one leg, if that's what you're comfortable with, okay? From the front, looks like this, all right? So we're out, okay? And the other leg can come in one leg at a time, and back out, or two legs at a time, and back out again, okay? From, for those, I would recommend, again, doing three sets of five to 10, just in and out, 
five to ten times for three sets, okay? Next, after that, we are going to move on to pike push-ups, okay? These are going to build your shoulders a bit more and also your triceps. What you want to do for these is you want to make sure that your parallettes are about shoulder width apart, okay? And you're going to stand up like this, all right? And there's a little bit of flexibility involved here, but it's okay to rise up on your toes, so it's not as hard as if you're trying to keep flat-footed, okay? You can even bend your knees a little bit if that makes it more comfortable. But what you want to do is you want to stand up like this, and you're going to do a push-up down, and then back up again. And notice again, my elbows staying right in line with my body. From the side, here are your pike push-ups. Again, you can bend your knees a little bit if you want, if that makes it more comfortable for you. However, try and keep them straight if you can. You're just going to go down and back up again. Again, my elbows staying in line with the body the whole time. Okay? You can make this harder, okay, by putting your feet up on something if you want. Put it up on a center block or a chair or a book or something like that. All right? You can make it a little easier by spreading your feet a little wider, all right, and coming out a little lower and going like that, okay? Now, these are a little tricky. If you're not capable of doing them right off the bat, don't sweat it. Do as best you can and then just add them in as you can, all right? So, same as the others, three sets, five to ten repetitions, okay? Finally, we are going to finish off with planks, okay? And these are your good old friends. You probably already know these if you've seen any workout regimen of mine. But all you're going to do is out like this. Hold it like that. From the side. Just like a standard push-up position. And in fact, these are just a hair easier than regular planks on the ground. Just because your body's at a more upward angle. However, they're a little harder in some ways too because you're not just putting your hands flat on the ground. You need to actually tighten your grip up a little bit. So, easier in one way, a little harder in another. So, finish your planks up. I would hold those planks for at least 10 seconds if you can, and I would do them three times. So you have three sets. Three times you're holding the plank for 10 seconds. Now again, as I mentioned before, you want to look into doing this in a circuit. Not one exercise, all the sets next exercise all the sets. Instead what you would do is you would do a set of your push-ups and then you do a set of your in and outs and then you do a set of your pike push-ups and then you would do a set of your planks. Okay? So do one set of each and then rest. Minute and a half, two minutes, whatever. Then go on and do another set of push-ups and another set of your in and outs. Another set of your pike push-ups and then your planks. Okay? Rest two or three minutes and then last set same deal. All the exercises run through them, and then you're done. That way you get three sets in, but it's one exercise after the other, rather than all of one exercise, then all of the next exercise, then all of the next exercise. You get a better cardiovascular workout that way, better conditioning workout that way. Definitely what I would recommend for body weight exercise. So here we are. We've moved on to level two of our parallel exercise routine. What we're going to do now is basically most of the same exercises from before, just slightly more difficult variants of them to get a little more comfortable. And uh, we're just going to kind of go from there and progress our way up to the final version level three, all right? So this is kind of the intermediate stage. This is getting us ready for the next set. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with push-ups again, just like before, but this time no kneeling push-ups, okay? This time you've got to do full length push-ups. I want to make sure that you're keeping your body all the way out. All right, tuck that butt nice and tight, keep your body rigid, down, and back up again, as controlled as you can. When you're first starting out, it might be tough, but you want to try and aim to go slowly down and up again. From the front, again, very similar to any push-ups, we're just out straight, okay? And we're going to go down and back up again. Look at my elbows, staying in line with my body, not flaring out to the side like this. Don't let that happen. For our next exercise, this is going to be very similar to our in and outs from before. Remember, we did these at level one, where you come in and you go back out again. Except this time, what you're going to do is you're going to pick your feet up, you're going to swing them all the way through, and put them out like that. And then swing them back again, okay? That's one. From the side, we're here like this, all right? I'm going to start out at my push-up position like before, but I'm going to come through and put my feet out like that. 
and then back up again. These are also great for parkour. If you're starting to work your Kong and your monkey vaults, very good training here. Same mindset, swinging those legs through. The real key here is to pull your knees up and keep your stomach tight as you come through. If you let your knees drop, you're going to scrape on the ground like this. All right? Now, you can try and do one leg like that, but personally, I honestly find it a little harder. That's up to you. Your mileage may vary on that. You can do whichever version you want. But as before, three sets of five to ten, just like the first round, except this time instead of just going to the center, we're going all the way through. For our next exercise, remember we did our pike push-ups at the level before this. We're going to take that up a notch. You can see I brought in here, I brought my bench. You don't have to use a bench, you can use a chair. In fact, if you're just starting off, I would use something lower than this. Use a cinder block, a pile of books, or something like that. But the principle remains the same, okay? You're going to have your PVC parallettes here. You're going to put your feet up. And again, we're going to go down and back up again. We're just coming from a higher angle this time. Okay, so previously, you know, our body was like a V. Now it's almost like a tilted L. Okay, and again, we're here. We come up, and we're going to go down and back up. Notice my elbows staying in line with my body the whole time. As before, three sets, five to ten repetitions, and then we're going to move on to a new exercise next. So the next exercise at the intermediate level is good old dips. What you're going to do is you're going to stick your feet out. If you're just starting out, you can even bend your legs a little bit, but I like to stick my feet out straight. And you're going to get it down and back up again. I'm going to bring them in a little closer. Again, down and back up. You want to go down to where your butt almost touches the ground and then come back up. Notice again my elbows staying in line with my body. Let me switch to the front view so you can see that. All right. I want just a little more than shoulder width, so I got room for my arms to move. But watch my elbows, staying in line with my body, not going out to the side. Okay? And again, you want to make sure that your arms stay nice and perpendicular to the floor. All right? You don't want your wrists to start ending up parallel like this. You want to make sure they stay upright. So with the dips, same as before, three sets, five to ten, and they're actually going to be partially taking the place of your planks from the previous workout, and what we're going to do is we're going to sub in a new exercise at the end to kind of finish off our core muscles. Final exercise for the intermediate level. What I said was the dips were replacing the planks, and in reality this is more of the proper replacement for the planks. Instead of doing our planks from before, what we're going to do is you're going to bring your feet up to where you're basically squatting right here in between your dip, your uh, parallettes, and then you're just going to pick your knees up off the ground, and you're going to hold this tuck like this, all right? Just like that, you want to try and hold it for 10 seconds if you can. Probably going to be pretty difficult at first. Just hold it for as long as you can, for a maximum of 10 seconds, okay? So again, one more time, we're just up like this. Hold for at least 10 seconds, and you're going to do that three times at the end of your circuit, one time at the end of every circuit, all right? As before, do it in a circuit, okay? Exercise for all reps, but, not, but just one set. Move on to the next exercise. So you do your push-ups, then you do swing-throughs, so on and so forth. So here we are at the final level for our parallel workout routine. This is going to be as before, just same exercises you've been dealing with, just slightly more advanced variations, okay? So first off, we're going to start off with our push-ups, but as you can see, I brought my bench back in again, and again, you can use a cinder block or a chair or whatever. Now, last time we saw this, I was using it for the pipe push-ups. This time, I'm just going to use it for the regular push-ups, and the difference is I'm not going to have that bend in my hips that makes an L, okay? I'm just going to have my straight, rigid body coming off of the bench, just like with regular push-ups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my toes up, all right? Got my hands about shoulder width on the parallettes. I'm going to keep my body nice and flat, and then down, and back up again. And as I'm doing it, again, shoulders close to the body, and I'm just dropping my chest down between the parallettes, ever so slightly. All right, and again, body rigid the whole time. You want to make sure you maintain that posture. Keep your butt tucked. Keep your abs tight. You're going to do three sets of five to ten. But again, I recommend it. After our push-ups, we're going to move our bench or our chair or our center block out of the way. We're going to move on to our next step up, which is going to be like our step ins or our step throughs before. Except now, instead of putting our feet down to the side, we're just going to swing through and come back again. So you're going to start out in the push-up position. All right. And you're going to pick your feet up and you're going to swing through like this. 
and come back again. Again, one more time, you're going to pick it up, swing through, and come back, just like that. You want to make sure you keep your feet tucked nice and high, and try and control that motion, so you go out and in, okay? And again, as before, three sets, five to ten. Our next exercise after our swing throughs is actually going to remain the same. We're going to be doing our pike push-ups again. You just want to make sure that you're really maintaining your form properly on these. So you get your feet up again on something high, all right? And then you're just going to push down and back up. Notice how low I'm going now. Now that I'm more comfortable with the exercise and a little stronger, full range of motion all the way down and all the way back up again. Again, keeping elbows close to the body, nice and tight. Keep that core tight. Keep your hip hinged properly, and as you get better, you can scooch these a little closer to the object that you're doing your, uh, that you get your feet up on. And from there, we're going to move on to our next exercise. For our next exercise, we're going to be going with an ab-centric exercise. It's going to be like we were doing before with our hanging tucks, so this time, instead of having our feet tucked under us, what you're going to do is you're going to push up, and you're going to sit out in an L-sit. Now, once you got that nice and tight, you can even start working your dips in. I don't quite have full range of motion on my dips yet. However, as you get stronger, you will find you'll be able to raise your feet up nice and high, and you can dip all the way down and back up again. That's the next level. So first, hold out there for just your L-sit. Do that for five to 10 seconds. If you get to 10 seconds, start trying to work those dips in. And finally, for the advanced level, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish out with some good old fashioned push-ups, just regular, Feet on the ground, hands in the parallettes, down and up again. Now these are going to be burnout sets, okay? I want you to do at least 20 push-ups, but shoot for 30 or 40 if you can. You're just going to bang them out, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. You're really just looking to get the blood flow into your triceps and to your pecs and really get that going, and really kind of build that strength in your arms and your chest. And that's it for the advanced level. Now like I said, this is not a complete full body workout. Your back is getting kind of neglected a bit as is your lower body. You're not getting much work for your legs, your quads, your hammies, your calves. So I would definitely recommend adding in some pull-ups of some kind, chin-ups of some kind, as well as some kind of leg strength exercise like goblet squats, pistol squats, uh, regular little back squats or front squats if you have access to a weight set, whatever. But these are great. I love parallettes. They're really awesome. They're great for working a lot of gymnastics type style moves. And uh, Definitely look into factoring these into your workout, even if you just add one or two of those exercises to your regular regimen. Like I said, we made these for less than 20 bucks. I'll link the video at the end. You can go check it out. And uh, they're just great to mix in any number of body weight exercises into your workout. Really kind of work that functional strength a bit. So thank you for watching. Please remember to hit like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And as always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.